Our funding from the Chancellor's Innovation Fund um, program is helping us to develop detection technologies. There are licensed methods to detect noroviruses in outbreak situations, but not for an individual patient. And that's largely because the methods aren't sensitive or specific enough. And if there isn't anything in the clinical sector, there certainly isn't anything in the food and environmental sector. In the course of my career at NC State, I've worked a lot with companies that develop diagnostics for the food and environmental sector. And all of those diagnostics have really focused on um, bacterial agents of foodborne disease, not viral agents of foodborne disease. And the issues in developing those diagnostics are very, very different whether you're dealing with bacteria versus viruses. So consequently, what we're hoping ultimately to do is to be able to offer a test that can be used by the food industry um, or supporting industries um, to identify norovirus contamination in a, in a wide variety of, of, of matrices. So a couple of examples might be um, for uh, oyster production. Oysters are um, at risk for norovirus contamination and right now we use bacterial indicators to look for fecal contamination in oysters and for a variety of reasons they don't work very well um, in predicting virus contamination. So it'd be great if we had an assay where we could actually detect the virus in water that overlays oysters and then that would be a better way of protecting the supply of, of shellfish. The same can be said for irrigation water, for example, for fresh produce. What this project seeks to do is develop innovative technologies so that we can finally develop commercially reliable methods to detect norovirus um, in both patients as well as in food and environmental samples.